also got to be strong in this industry, as in any other industry. So here's the plan. It is 11.15 Central AM. Uh, today's Wednesday, 24th. So I just delivered this morning at about 5.30 AM. Uh, just got a few hours sleep. Had one unit ahead of me here in uh, Waterloo, Iowa. Time for an oil change, so I'm heading to the Ford dealership to try and get this oil change done real quick. And then I am more than likely going to head for Chicago. It's about four hours away. And I'm not staying right here. When I just went by the truck stop, uh, there was what, probably seven vans right there. Three of them were Expeditus. Uh, Loves, I just went by, had one. So, yeah, there's not a ton of freight out of here with that many vans. Probably not a good, probably not good odds that uh, we're going to get anything out of here today. So, I'm going to go get this oil change done and, yeah, head for Chicago. So, we'll update you after we get this oil change. Alright, guys, so as soon as we got here, I mean, literally, as soon as I pulled into a parking spot here to get my oil changed, got a call for a load. But I was still able to get the oil changed. And we pick up about 20 some odd miles from here. Let's pick up at 3 o'clock Central. It's going on 1 o'clock. And it's going to Kansas. Uh, can't remember when. I'll give you all the, all the details later. It's supposed to deliver tomorrow morning. I think it's only like 500 and some miles. So I've uh, got plenty of time. Don't know if they'll be open tonight. I'm going to another John Deere spot. Yeah, got the got the oil change. Uh, just got the synthetic blend on this oil change. So I'm gonna be home in a week or two. It'll be time for another oil change, and then I can uh, you know, change everything myself at that point. Get under there and take a look at everything. So, all right, update you in a bit. You can't really pull in here? Okay. Okay. Alright guys, so this is gonna be dinner tonight. Bought it in the freezer section at Walmart. This bag, I'm gonna open this up. Put this in this container here. Let's see, make sure you see that okay. I think last time I recorded it, couldn't see shit. That's what it are. All right, holler. Kansas 6 12 a.m. E Central oh my god not Eastern Central it wasn't open when I got here last night 
I'm like two hours from the office in Arkansas. Uh, about one hour from Joplin. I think I'm just going to stay right here. Because we do get stuff out of here. And since I'm not that far from the office. So I'm just going to stay here. Because uh, as I stated, normally if something comes out of the office, there's usually time to go get it. So, not too worried about getting closer. There's a Walmart down the road that comes up on Trucker Path. And if I don't get anything after I get a little more sleep, I'll go into Walmart. I gotta do a little bit of shopping. Alright. Yeah, all clear. All good. App updated. Paperwork sent in. We're going down to Wally World. Walmart Supercenter may be closed by the time you arrive. Yep. Head west toward old US 160. Take him out here on the road sleep at a Walmart you don't understand why we do it it's usually very quiet sleeping at a Walmart Here's the other thing about when you find a parking spot. I guess it depends on your bed. But like this, it's got a little bit of a front downward slant the way I'm parked. Which makes it makes it more comfortable to sleep in the bed. Cause then it gives me a little lean towards the back of the seat. As opposed to off the bunk. Yeah. Ask anybody out here. You gotta get the right you gotta get the right lean to the vehicle to get a good sleep. It's not a big one. Now during the day, maybe I'll turn around and back in if I'm still here. That way I got the grass out there. It depends on the temperature. But right now, I'd rather be facing also facing out in the field to where every Tom, Dick, and Harry isn't looking in the van because I ain't putting no window visors up or anything. So, yeah. Just a little, little tip. A little van life, expediter van life tip. dry run. I go in, I check in, give her the pickup number. She said, oh yeah, that, that's already been picked up. I'm thinking to myself like, what? Like, you let somebody get my freight. That's what I'm thinking. Black home asked, by who? Estes. Them 
crate stealing, some sucking, Estes, some bitches. Oh, it's on, Estes. It's on. Alright, so we're loaded. We've got two pieces, two skids. Uh, that's always good. 1,155 pounds. It was supposed to be supposed to be 2,000 pounds. Usually, when we pick up here, skids are big and bulky and heavy. <clears throat> I was strapping that down. funny you know when you put the freight put the strap over the freight and then you got to put the hook on the d-ring on the other side I forget whose video i seen it has a little tape or something wrapped on their hook so it kind of grabs a little better so it doesn't slip off of there but and he does <clears throat> he does that because it's almost like you're fishing you got to grab the strap and you got to kind of quickly yank it in order to catch that d-ring without it slipping out and the strap coming forward. It's like, man, when that sucker misses, man, you feel like, damn it, that one got away. Yeah, I thought that was funny. Yeah. Okay, if you didn't think it was funny, I don't care. I thought it was funny. But, yeah, I'm going to get this in here. It is 1120 Central. This was supposed to load at 11 Central. It delivers by 6 a.m., they open 
at 5.30. Uh, usually end up getting there about a half hour, 45 minutes before that. So... It's all good. Takes you over near uh, Olive Branch, Mississippi, Memphis area. It's where it takes you. My plan is as soon as I drop, because I should drop it about, as I said, 5.30, 6 a.m. I'm going to shoot straight towards Nashville. I don't like my odds in Memphis, Olive Branch, none of that, so I am out. Thank you. 